on the campus of Wayne County Community College in effort to reach the powers that be at DTE. We want them to sign the Defend Black Vote Pledge and stop funding legislators uh, that, that, are, that are funding uh, those that are pushing voter suppression bills. All of this ahead of the main event. I've been constantly dealing with an influx of energy costs that are nowhere near affordable. Three public service commissioners intent on getting the public's thoughts on DTE's proposal to raise an additional $388 million through rate increases. You can't keep giving them rate increases and they're not doing what they're supposed to do. The proposed increase breaks down to an additional $10.31 per customer per month if the commission signs off. DTE says the money is needed to improve infrastructure. It's important that we upgrade the system so that there won't be as many power outage. I'm hoping that that's something that they can look at and because you're the Public Service Commission people, you can keep an eye on it. We have big plans and their investment in the grid is critical to us being able to fulfill those plans. So from that perspective, I'm actually ironically supportive of a rate increase. DTE says it's in full support of the process, issuing this statement, which reads in part, when new rates are approved by the commission, it will be nearly three years since the last base rate increase. The affordability of our service is a priority for us. Currently, DTE customers' bills are below the national average, and that remains our goal, end quote. I'm asking that you deny this rate increase and let DTE figure it out from inside. The stock price is going up in a time where our economy is in a recession. Others like Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib are asking the Public Service Commission to remember where they fit in this equation. You serve us, the public. Just remember that because the corporations will always put the shareholders first. 